It's been nine years since House Speaker Nancy Pelosi presided over a State of the Union. While she enthusiastically cheered on former President Barack Obama's agenda in 2010, today the California Democrat continues to pour cold water on President Donald Trump's core demand. There's not going to be any wall money in the, in the, in the legislation. Time will prove me right, probably. Trump is not budging either, saying physical barriers must be extended along the U.S.-Mexico border. If there's no wall, it doesn't work. She's just playing games. So if there's no wall, it doesn't work. And we're building the wall right now. A bipartisan bicameral committee has fewer than two weeks to craft a border security proposal as part of a spending package that must become law by the middle of the month or another partial government shutdown will begin. The Trump shutdown was eye-opening. After 35 days, a greater number of Americans have a better appreciation for the hard work done by our federal workforce in support of our national and economic security, public health, and daily lives. I'm for whatever works, which means avoiding a shutdown and avoiding uh, the president feeling he should declare a national emergency. Exactly how to do that, as you all know, has been quite challenging. So far, Trump has hinted he might bypass Congress and order border barriers built after declaring a national emergency. Lawmakers of both parties will be listening intently to the president's speech for further clues. Members of Congress also want details on pressing international matters. We have won against ISIS. Last week, Trump's rationale for withdrawing U.S. troops from Syria suffered a blow at the hands of his own intelligence chief. ISIS is intent on resurging and still commands thousands of fighters in Iraq and Syria. And as the president prepares for another summit with North Korea's Kim Jong-un, a warning from the CIA. The regime is committed to developing a long-range nuclear armed missile that would pose a direct threat uh, to the United States. President Trump will have good economic news to tout. More than 300,000 American jobs were created last month, and U.S. unemployment stands at just 4%. Michael Bowman, VOA News, Washington. They sacrifice to raise a family. They care for our children at home. They defend our flag abroad.